What's up, y'all? Uh, this is Greg here, and I'm here to show y'all my presentation on the Houston Astros cheating scandal. In November of 2019, a man named Mike Fires, who is pictured right now, came out and said that the team that he was on to win the World Series actually cheated. The 2017 Houston Astros had decided to use cameras in center field throughout the entire year to help relay to their players that were hitting about what pitch was coming. And the only punishment they had received was a couple million dollars fine, their head coach got fired, and they lost the first two draft picks in this year's upcoming draft. And when you compare it and look at it, compared to other scandals that have happened in the history of baseball, the type of punishment that they have received is a complete cakewalk compared to what some other teams have received. So this is a huge deal because in the baseball world, cheating is one thing that is just not accepted. And this all really started back in 1919 with the Chicago White Sox, who had basically decided to lose a World Series so that they could end up making money because they bet on themselves to lose. And so they did everything they possibly could to lose. They made intentional errors. They, uh, the pitchers would just throw fastballs right down the middle. The hitters would not swing at pitches, anything like that. And they actually, everybody that was on that team is banned from the Hall of Fame for life. None of them will be able to ever see the Hall of Fame. And there were some very good players on that team. A man named Arnold Rothstein, who's in this picture, helped support the Chicago White Sox and helped them place their bets so that they would make the most amount of money to be able to lose. Another big time scandal was the Pete Rose scandal. And Pete Rose is one of the greatest players of all time. Pete Rose is the all time leader in Major League Baseball in hits with 4,256 hits, arguably one of the greatest baseball players of all time. But he will never, right now, he will never see the Hall of Fame because of his betting issues. He, back when he was a manager, he bets on his team to win a ball game. And he made like a couple hundred bucks because they did end up winning, be a big gambling issue. And once the commissioner of Major League Baseball heard about this, he decided to ban Pete Rose from baseball, not just from the Hall of Fame, but from baseball in general. So he can't attend baseball events, he can still go to games, but he can't, he can't have his own like special thing about that. But right now, this is currently in the works of being changed because of, yes, what the Houston Astros did. Houston, people are saying if the Houston Astros only get this type of punishment, Pete Rose should be allowed back in baseball because what he did wasn't really that bad compared to what the Houston Astros have done. Now you have one of the greatest pitchers of all time, Roger Clemens, and also one of the best hitters of all time one of the best home run hitters of all time, Barry Bonds. But they cheated. They used steroids to get where they're at. And right now, they're still able to be in baseball. They're still able to be in baseball events. Barry Bonds actually coach, but right now, can't get into the Hall of Fame. You know that the punishment they received is not even what they deserved. When players from their own team are coming out and saying that what they did is the worst thing they could possibly do in baseball. Uh, former Houston Nationals DH Evan Gaddis actually has come out on Twitter and said what the Houston Nationals did was very wrong. And he apologized for himself, not for the team, but for himself, saying that what they did was wrong and they deserve whatever punishment that they can get. And he actually he's the only Houston Nationals player to come out and apologize for what they did, which I think is very wrong. Y'all might have your own opinions on this. But there's a lot of people in the baseball world, and there's a lot of people in the sports world, too. LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, has even come out and said that what the Houston Astros did was wrong. Other players from other MLB teams have come out and said what they did was wrong. And actually, something that a lot of people are disagreeing about is that Major League Baseball has actually came out and said that if another team were to retaliate against the Houston Astros for what they had done, 
that team gets a fine and whatever players were involved in that retaliation will also be fined and suspended a certain amount of games. It just doesn't add up how uh, when a team wants to retaliate for being cheated out of a World Series or a chance to win a World Series gets fined, gets punished harshly, but the team that actually committed the act of cheating, nothing happened, nothing really like that happened. So, like, it just doesn't add up. And a lot of people are questioning, like, the MLB commissioner and if he did his job right. And a lot, I mean, a lot of people are saying that the Houston Astros deserve worse as a punishment. And I'm here just to provide the two sides of the story. Um, so, I kind of want to hear what y'all want to say about it. Uh, put in the discussion board like under my video or you can go on YouTube and put it in my video on what y'all think about it because I'm kind of interested to know. So stay safe, y'all. Stay social distancing, which sucks, but whatever. And I'll see y'all next semester.